I was like, I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die here. You ever have an itch you can't scratch or fractures to both of your arms, but still have to act because it's your job? Maybe not as common for us, but for these MCU actors, they were barely able to make it through these scenes. Number 1. It had to have been serious if someone went to the hospital, right? As you'll see a little later on this video, the MCU must have a great relationship with hospitals. With production of Black Panther Wakanda Forever underway, Letitia Wright was rushed to the hospital for an injury. She wasn't in the hospital long, but she got a fractured shoulder and a concussion from a motorcycle scene. So that's pretty serious. And this injury left her going to therapy long after filming ended. I'm still processing it. I'm still working through it in therapy. It was really traumatic. Number 2. This would be the most annoying thing ever. Props to Paul Bettany. You know that super cool video of Paul in the makeup chair getting ready as Vision? It looked awesome to us, but he was not so eager to put all those prosthetics on. It was so uncomfortable for the fact that he could not reach that annoying scratch he wanted to itch. There's one place on my body that I can scratch and that's my nose, so anything else is impossible. Plus, my hands are purple so I get everything purple. Number 3. Andy Serkis was not ready for Chadwick Boseman's commitment to the character of T'Challa. A somewhat straightforward fight scene in Black Panther ended up being a bad and painful experience for Andy. Very first take, he kneed me so hard in the chest because you couldn't really see with his mask on. He admits he wasn't on his A-game for this one, but just wasn't expecting Chadwick to be so perfect with the moves. I felt like he'd broken my ribs in that very first take. After taking a lovely knee to the chest, and probably many more injuries, they all in all ended up shooting the fight scene 30 times. Number 4. Sebastian Stan was lucky enough to not get injured too badly during stunt sequences, but for one without any stunts, he twists his ankle. For the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, in the boat scene, Sebastian jumped onto the boat and got a gnarly ankle twist. This wasn't about to stop him from filming the scene, however, so he came up with a little trick to push through. Like, I actually couldn't walk on it. In between the takes when we had to do the setups, I would run upstairs and two people would help me out of this boot and I would just take my foot and put it in a bucket of ice. Number 5. When you're a big actor, it can be really hard to get you small again. When Paul Rudd was a little man running through the school in Ant-Man and the Wasp, it quite literally took forever to film that scene. That was incredibly difficult and it took a long time to film. It seemed so simple as an effect, but they had to delicately rehearse his movements plus make sure all of the camera angles matched up. We had to mix different size props because Angelina and I are both in the scene at the same time. Paul recalls a very lengthy shoot for this little scene and is still shocked at how they were able to pull that off. The work that went into that sequence was uh, mighty impressive. Number 6. Baby Groot is the only one who can pull off a boogie session in front of a one-eyed monster. This one's not about Baby Groot. Since Vin Diesel was in a comfy booth all day, no, this one's about the actors in the background. These actors dealt with three things. A fake monster, fight choreography, and a fake Groot. It took them a long time to match each character's eyes correctly with Groot, but also make sure they knew where the monster was as they were juggling moves. The man behind this magic, cinematographer Henry Henry Bram broke down what the actors went through. We know exactly where Baby Groot is in the frame, and we know where the focus needs to be, and we know the timing of how Dave has got to be thrown to the floor. Number 7. Robert Downey Jr. had so many hard scenes as Iron Man, and breaking ankles was just a normal thing. I broke my ankle once, but then that gave us time to do some more script revisions. For Iron Man 3 in particular, in the big fight scene at the dock, RDJ had to jump from one platform to another. What follows next came as no surprise to him, as it was just another ankle break. It looked horrifying to the cast and crew, but he pushed himself to his limit and kept the scene going. Number 8. How do you shoot arrows with no arms? Just embody Jeremy Renner, of course. Jeremy fractured both of his arms on the job and was dealing with therapy during Endgame. He just didn't want to let anyone down, so he powered through it. What else do you do? You just stop and cry and everyone go home? He wasn't going to let his injury get the best of him, and he was still going to remain in high comedic spirits. I'd be like, sorry guys, I'm not going to use a bow and arrow now in Avengers, so I have to kind of push through so that you can perform for everyone. 
Number 9. We never thought this would ever be said, but Brie Larson really preferred hard stunts over scenes with cats. To be fair, it wasn't like she didn't like them, she was just extremely allergic to them. So when Captain Marvel began filming, the production team changed their minds real quick when Larson would pull them aside constantly for them to switch the CGI. It became this joke because the crew would watch me all day doing crazy stunts. But then the cat showed up on set and I was like, we need to have a plan, we need to have a conversation. Number 10. The most unexpected of injuries come from the most unusual spell castings. This was the case for Elizabeth Olsen when she flailed her arms about as Wanda. She apparently went in a little too aggressively and injured her shoulder. It seemed like Olsen was the odd man out for a certain scene she was casting spells in. As Jeremy Renner explains, she got an injury in her shoulder. Everyone else is doing dives and rolls and all this stuff. And she's doing this hand movement and goes, oh my god, my shoulder. Number 11. From Actor to Knife Master Sebastian Stan really suffered to pull this scene off. When taking on Captain America and Winter Soldier, Bucky's an expert with knife play. And keep in mind, you can't really CGI this. So Stan spent months perfecting knife flips and tricks. Walking around the house for a while, just sort of flipping this plastic knife, driving in intersections and just flipping it in the car. <laughs> he also rehearsed with Chris Evans and stuntmen to make sure he wasn't whacking anyone in the face with a plastic knife. Number 12. Stunt people are actors too, and Bobby Holland Hanton deserves a lot of respect for playing both Captain America and Thor's stunt doubles. His hardest scene was in Ultron, when Cap surfs on the highway on a car door. Even for an experienced stunt performer, this was a whole new world. Hanton explains, It was a new experience for me. I had not done much outside of the vehicle work. With live roads and live traffic, I had to really be focused in on top of my game and make sure everything for me was in place. Number 13. RDJ really hated filming those heads-up display scenes in his helmet. For someone who likes acting with a scene partner, Robert was not pleased to be spending time in front of a black screen and saying his lines to the air. Would he prefer this over broken ankles now? We honestly don't even know anymore, but the way he puts it, they're just screaming direction at you. It's like irritation therapy. Number 14. This superhero landing was both awkward and painful for the God of Thunder. In Avengers, Chris Hemsworth recounted on the scene where he kidnaps Loki. As Thor jumps down and executes a nifty little superhero landing, it looked kind of awesome. But behind the scenes was a whole different story. It was not as elegant as one would imagine. I had to come down and land on the cliff, step, and have the conversation. For the first couple of takes, I just face planted into the dirt. It was incredibly ungrateful graceful and unsuperhero like. Number 15. Wow, they really had RDJ building an actual arc reactor. Well, not really. But production actually had Robert soldering on pieces in a cave for Iron Man. This was not only dangerous for the actor, but it must have been incredibly difficult to get right. Luckily, our Tony Stark had a little expert help behind the scenes. Prop master Russell Bobbitt explains, I taught him how wiring works. He soldered and we had these extreme close-up shots. And it really defined Iron Man in that moment. Oh, how happy we are to not actually get beaten up while filming a superhero movie. Good thing these actors made it out unscathed, for the most part. Was there a scene for you in particular that you just would have said, oh heck no, to let us know in the comments.